Welcome back, everybody, to our cozy studio here inside the Hex Center on the campus of the University of Miami. Joe Zagacki with Don Bailey, Jr. It is National Signing Day. The University of Miami is off to a hot start here. They have uh, fortified themselves in the secondary on the offensive line. Done a good job at wide receiver. Shortly, that might get even better. Added a running back there as well. And uh, done a good job at quarterback. And joining us now is... Hurricanes quarterbacks coach John Rick. Coach, how are you? Doing well. Doing well. You're all smiles. Oh, yeah. Huh? Yeah, one, qu one quarterback here. One on campus one on, and campus, one on the way. One so who said. We're, we're excited. We got two great guys coming in, and we're, we're excited to see those guys coming in and compete. All right, let's uh, jump into Nikozi Perra. We're going to look at some video of him, but uh, you were instrumental in his recruiting. What makes him such a special player? Well, I mean, like you, you're able to see here, the dude can make a lot of plays when, when things break down. Um, he, he makes coaches look better than they are. And, uh, you know, he, he's, he's kind of an X factor when he gets out there and he's able to make plays with his feet. But the kid actually shows remarkable touch with when he throws. He's got unbelievable arm strength. And he's got this whole thing that Coach Bowden used to say is just he just gets guys the ball. He just gives it to them. So um, he's not always going to make the – most perfect pass, but he's going to get the guys the ball, and that's that's what you want in a quarterback. And let's face it, Ocala is where he's from. That's not an easy area for the University of Miami to go into and get a, and get a quarterback. But there was an opening there, and you've been on him, and he just uh, had the burning desire to be here. Now, Don Bailey, I think he's he, he must be my brother because he, he said exactly what I was going to say to you. <laughs> but Ocala is a tough area. It is, you know. Well, I mean. The people in Ocala have been awesome. Yeah. I will say that. I've been there a lot because of Nicosi, and there's a few young guys there at that school, that the same school that we're going to go try to get here in the future. But they've done a great job of welcoming us. There's there's a lot of good guys out there. And, uh, you know, Nicosi was worth us putting in the time to go out there. And But you're right. You know, they're right down the road from Gainesville. They're about 45 minutes away. It's been said, uh, and really, uh, you know, that uh, – Nikosi Perry might be a little bit of a different kind of quarterback than what Coach Rick had at Georgia or even here with, uh, with Brad Kaya, but a guy that can move, right. that's part of the game today. Right. It is. And, well, if you go back to Florida State, he had Charlie Ward, right. who this kid reminds us of Charlie. He's, he's a guy who's very athletic. He's able to make plays with his feet, and that's kind of how we'll use him. If Charlie Ward had the zone read and all the things that we do nowadays – I mean, it, he probably might have been up for two Heismans, but that's kind of what we're looking towards. And, uh, you know, he's he's also a guy that um, can really throw the ball. I mean, I don't want to understate how well of a passer he is. So um, it's it's definitely a guy that can get it done on both ways. Coach Cade Weldon comes in. Now there's a, a family a family relationship right. there. Uh, your father, Coach Rick, coached his dad while he was at Florida State. Mm -hmm. and. And he's impressive on tape as well. I mean, he's got the ability to, to pull the ball down and pick up some first downs and some long yards, as you can check out the tape here. But there's no doubt that he understands what's needed to play that position. He's gotten it his whole life, hasn't he? Oh, yeah. Now, Cade's going to come in. He's a big, physical, good-looking kid that's, you know, really built to play now. And uh, that's what we're excited about Cade. Um, I think he's one of the most underrated players that we had in our class. He hurt his knee. His junior year, one of the first games, didn't really get to play his whole junior year, so kind of flew under the radar a little bit, and we were able to get him. And then this last year, he averaged 300 yards passing a game and you know, ran, rushed the ball for close to 500, I think. And the kid can really do a lot of things, both throwing and running, which is awesome. The ultimate player to me, if you can get him, and, and you are one, is, is a coach's son. Oh, yeah. and, and you go into a meeting, and the position coach or the coordinator or the head coach starts talking and you've heard it at the dinner table your whole life. There's, there's got to be a huge advantage to having that type of player in, on your team and in your system. It is, and, and more than necessarily, I guess, the here in the lingo and that type of stuff, is, is a kid that understands what it takes. Mm -hmm. And uh, a lot of times the coach's kids have seen what it takes and either they're going to be willing to go and you know, compete and do what it takes, or they know what it takes and they're, they're not into it, you right. know, so <laughs> the kids, the exactly, so the, it kind of goes both ways with coaches' kids, and with, with Cade, he's definitely a guy that's going to get after it, and he's going to be the hardest worker that you'll be able to find out there. I will tell you the thing that impressed me that, that isn't on the stat sheet is that 
six months ago and really a year ago, these quarterbacks were pretty much into the University of Miami. Mm -hmm. And we didn't find out till very late, the University of Miami family, that Brad Kaya was leaving. Right. Neither one of them shied away from coming here right. when they both knew they were coming, mm -hmm. and neither one of them shied away from coming because Brad Kaya was here. So that tells me that they are both highly competitive guys. Exactly, and that's, that's what you want. <clears throat> At the end of the day, you want a guy who can make all the plays, a guy who can run, throw, be accurate, um, control the offense, be a leader, but you want a guy who's going to come in and compete. And, uh, you know, with Brad leaving, we're, it's an open competition. Right. And now that them coming in to compete is not only, hey, do you, who wants to back up Brad and who wants to be the guy that, you know, will be ready, it's the guy that's going to go play right now. And we think these two guys are going to come in and compete to, to do just that. So we're excited. I saw Cade Weldon's father play. Mm -hmm. and Cade looks like his father. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Spitting in. He does look like his dad the way he plays. Uh, let's jump to that for a moment, the quarterback competition that will start. Uh, well, a little bit in April, spring ball, and then Nicosi gets here right. in the summertime. Uh, I guess one of the good things is you got to – darn good defense that you're going to work against so we do that'll give you a pretty good barometer on who can move the ball exactly and you know that especially that front seven and then there's going to be some new new guys coming in the secondary that we're really excited about and i'm sure coach bond has talked about already coach rump and you know it's something that we're really um excited to go against every 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 week every day and uh, it'll, it'll definitely challenge our guys. The guys that are already on campus um, are, are ready to get after it. You know, they're, they're chomping at the bit to get back in spring, get into mat drills so they can start to lead, get into spring ball so they can start to show what they can do on the field. And, you know, those guys have done a good, great job this semester of just getting everybody going. And, and off-season program has been going great. And a lot of it is because of these quarterbacks are trying to step up and trying to lead. And so we're excited about what's going to happen in spring. All right, very good. Congratulations. You might also have a couple of program changers here in the, the recruits with Weldon and Nicosi Perry. We're hoping so. A lot of people are excited about Nicosi. Good job. Yes, sir. Appreciate it. That's uh, quarterback's coach John Rick joining us as we continue on our 2017 National Signing Day show right here on ACC Network Extra.